instead of a new trailer, hey, ticket sites are crashing. The movie don't need no more trailers. But Spider-Man No Way Home found another way to celebrate Spider Monday, and that's producer Amy Pascal confirming that when one Tom Holland trilogy ends, another begins. That's right, three more Tom Holland Spider-Man movies all set in the MCU. Because Tom Holland, I think, has made it pretty clear that he doesn't have any interest in being Spider-Man outside of the MCU. He's like, get those, get those Spider-Verse movies away from me. Now, we'll of course have a detailed discussion of what's next for the character after No Way Home comes out. But since people are jonesing for Spider-Man content, I can tease some things and ask some pretty big questions. But if you're super spoiler averse, swing out now. You've been warned. All right, so what I can tell you at this point with the movie about three weeks away is that, without ruining the movie, is that No Way Home will leave Tom Holland's Peter Parker in a very dark place, very dark. So it's no surprise that Amy Pascal is calling this a new trilogy because tonally it should be quite different. He's, he's just not making, it's, it's interesting. It's a little bit like what uh, Star Wars does where they have like set trilogies uh, that are about specific things. I mean, who would copy Star Wars right now? Uh, I mean, Star Wars has, has had some success. It's had some success, uh, but that's what it sounds like to me. So I think you have the happy-go-lucky high school years and now, it's not going to be so happy-go-lucky. And we're not just talking about Peter Parker being in a different place with these new movies, but his, the status quo as to what his life looks like will change considerably. I believe we'll start to get the older, non-school Peter Parker that many of us, many of us have been hoping for, adult Peter Parker. And also, there's going to be some big changes as to who's in his life. Again, we will discuss more when the movie comes out. And now here are some questions that I think could be very interesting because we want to know who's going to be in the movie with him because we all know that Tom Holland don't get to have these movies to himself. It's an, you know, they're MCU films. And one of the point, the the big point of that is that not only is he part of the MCU story, but he gets, he gets an MCU buddy, right? He had Iron Man, um, he had Nick Fury, uh, and now he's getting, of course, Doctor Strange. So he doesn't get like, well, Iron Man was pretty big, but that was a small role. But I think you're looking. I think you can kind of see the level of character that that Kevin Feige is willing to let Amy Pascal play with. But here's something that's going to work out great for everyone, or could work out great for everyone. All right, so I've been telling you for a while that the Young Avengers are coming, and sure enough, recently they've been popping up like daisies. And last week, when Hawkeye debuted, and we got to meet Kate Bishop. She said she's 22, and one of you noted that that makes her just a bit older than Peter Parker, but in the same age range. Fascinating! And that got me thinking, because, again, they like to have MCU crossovers in these Spider-Man movies. What if the next Spider-Man movie introduced the Young Avengers as a team to the MCU? I think that would be so good, because I don't think the Young Avengers are going to be strong enough to support their own movie, and Kevin Feige has a very full dance card as it is. But this would be a great way, I think, to bring them in, and it would be something that Kevin Feige would allow Amy Pascal again to play with. So Haley Steinfeld already has a great relationship with Pascal. She is Spider-Gwen after all, right? And we, I mean, uh, it, but that's in a different uh, universe. So don't worry, we don't have to even have any jokes where Tom Holland's like, you sound familiar. Uh, and we know that Wiccan, we know that uh, the other young Avengers already on the board are Wiccan and Speed, who will get aged up at the end of Doctor Strange 2. I'm not sure what to which point, but clearly they're aging up quite quickly and could age up right before or at the beginning of the Spider-Man, next Spider-Man movie. Eli Bradley's here. Cassie Lang is being recast, but shes I think that just shows that they have big plans for the character going forward. Uh, America Chavez is coming in Doctor Strange 2 with a huge role there. And even Kid Loki's on the board if they are so inclined. Now, we don't have Hulkling, but I'm sure he's coming. We have a couple of shows where he could, he could, he could debut. You can't have Wiccan without Hulkling, and I'm sure Kevin Feige realizes that. So with Kate Bishop already New York City based and Peter Parker again about to deal with some messed up stuff that he might need some super powered help with, with these characters all being in the same age group and, you know, Peter, you know, Miles Morales in the MCU has been kind of with this group a little bit too. We'll get to Miles in a moment, don't worry. Miles could be kind of a Young Avengers situation, but I, I have a theory on how to introduce Miles on his own, which we'll get to. But I think that, you know, 
Peter Parker, you know, would he be more comfortable with the Young Avengers than the Avengers? I mean, I don't know. He might feel it's a downgrade. Would you feel it's a downgrade? But I, I think this would be a. I, people are loving Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. I think this would work really well. And again, I don't think the Young Avengers can handle their own film. But I don't know if it's giving them a show. I mean. Kevin Feige's dance card is full in theaters and on Disney Plus. So I think putting them in the next next Spider-Man movie, especially when you see what's going to happen, I think could work really, really, really well. Now, there's also the possibility of us finally, finally getting a Sinister Six movie, right? I mean, because I told you I, I got a, I, there was a rumor for a while that there would be only five villains, which I thought was ridiculous, but I have it confirmed from sources now, one who's seen the full film, that, yeah, it's just five villains. So ridiculous! But... Yeah, I think, you know, as many of you are guessing that Sony wants the full six pack for themselves, but I still think it's a missed opportunity. And uh, But here's the problem, especially. I will tell you that these villains in No Way Home are not sticking around the MCU. So we would have to start a Sinister Six, basically. We, we would have a lot of work still to do to get to that point. Because so far, Peter's only got Vulture and the Tinkerer, Scorpion and Mysterio. And that's like, what, three and a half villains? Sorry, Tinkerer, you're not a full on villain. So yeah, I mean, considering what Peter's about to go through, I don't think he's ready for his own Sinister Six just yet. I don't think we have the time to, to, to do it, to organically, to add three more villains. And he just fought the Sinister Five. So I think that while he'll probably eventually get to his own Sinister Six in the Tom Holland films, he's not going to do it right away because it would just be repeating things. So I think the Young Avengers is the best idea. But then I also like the idea that if someone, say, needs to take on Peter Parker, right, but in a good way... How about Miles Morales? You know, right? right? Spider-Man versus Spider-Man? That's pretty sexy. Amy Pascal is already heavily invested in the Miles Morales character animation-wise. And in the article where she talked about a new a new uh, trilogy for Tom Holland, she was very careful to give a lot of, you know, name checks to Miles Morales. Not just the Spider-Verse movie, but she was like, oh yeah, Spider-Man is a kid from Queens or a kid from Brooklyn in Miles' case. So Miles is very much on Amy Pascal's brain. I could see her wanting to be the one to, to make sure she's the one who brings him into live action. It would also help the, the Spider-Verse movies if they cast him just right. So, are you excited about a new Tom Holland trilogy being confirmed? A new Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy? What and who do you want to see in it? Share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.